Newspapers tell us many things. They tell us what is happening in our own community and in other communities all over the world. They tell us in news stories. This is how a news story gets into the paper. This is cool. I'm Sam Patricus. I founded The Compass in 2010 with no intention of ever being on camera talking about it. My name is Emma Levitt. I am the designer in chief of the Boston Compass. I'm Kevin Dacey. Just started taking over production manager position for the Compass, which is working on just getting the Compass produced and made. The deadline for this edition of the paper is getting close. It was just a sheet of paper in 2010 and done it a hundred months in a row. All sorts of people bringing different things to it. It, it has changed organically and grown in various ways that I never imagined by the virtue of people coming in and putting their stamp on it, making something out of it. It's like a freak flag out there that other people can see. It connects people, how, how it can like I don't know, open up this whole world to, to you, a need that you didn't even know existed before. My favorite part of the Compass is when I go to a show and I ask someone how they found out about the show and they say, I read it in the Compass. Having this newspaper in the stores or in the cool places that actually support our culture and connect people that otherwise like would not find each other. Going into our 100th issue, I feel like we're really stronger than ever. We have an amazing crew of volunteers. I feel more confident about the compass, and I think we're ready to rock it out into issue 200. The printed papers are bundled for delivery. 5,000 copies a month, sometimes 7,500 on the big months. Newspapers are sold on the streets, newspapers are delivered to homes, and they are read everywhere. Fringe arts activity that is un, uh, unrecognized, sort of, by like mainstream culture, and that isn't going anywhere. And that's what the compass represents. 